In this video, we're going to talk about Sundao Growers. If you're considering buying Sundao Growers shares in your portfolio, then please keep watching this video until the end, because it'll cover many of the factors that should be considered regarding buying, holding, or selling the shares. During the most recent trading session, the stock opened at 98 cents and closed at 97.88 cents. The lowest point at which it fell to was 97 cents and 15, and the highest point it rose to was $1 and 2. Compared to the current price action, its 52 week low was 14 cents, and the 52 week high was $3.96. The current trading volume of Sundial Growers is 108.5 million shares, compared to the average volume of 213.4 million shares. The volume that Sundial Growers is trading at the moment shows us that the market is now on the low and slow about it, even though it wants to edge the stock upward. Trading volumes tend to be lower during the summer times already, and for Sundial Growers, it means that the recovery that we've been seeing so far is a fairly fragile one, but it maintained the tendency. Let's take a look at the difference between the company's market cap and the enterprise value. Basically, the market cap is the sum of the price of all the shares that are publicly traded, and the enterprise value is the value of the company's assets once all the debts are paid off. We can say that the market cap in the company is $1.8 billion and the enterprise value is $898.5 million. This difference is significant. It basically means that the difference is the premium that the market is willing to pay for the future prospects of the company. In the case of Sundao, the difference is very significant and reflects a degree of speculation that is in its shareholders. In the current stages, it means that a significant factor that will determine the success of the position is to speculate on the amount of speculations. In other words, as long as there are people willing to buy it, there will be a solid foundation for its price, or shall I say a solid bottom for its price. Now, let's talk about the number of shares the company currently has and the composition of its shareholding. The total number of shares outstanding is 1.9 billion shares amongst the total float. Insiders hold 0.64% of it, and the percentage of institutional investors is just 4.91. There are 253.9 million shares that have been shorted, representing 13.7% of the shares traded. The ownership composition of Sundial Growers is relatively worrisome, in my opinion. It means that insiders hold very little of it, and the same goes for institutional investors. They collectively hold less than 6% of the total shares. They hold less than 6% of the total equity, meaning that the vast, vast majority of the stock is in the hands of retail traders like you and me. Now, there is nothing inherently bad that retail people hold shares, but that usually means that the market doesn't have that much faith in this stock and especially about its long-term future. Keep in mind that Sundao is in an industry that is based on actual regulatory forces and performance measures that are obvious. If so little is in the hands of institutions, this may mean that the stock is largely a speculation in their eyes. The price action tendencies of Sundao is fairly optimistic, despite everything that I just said. The market has touched a bottom on May 24th and has since then not tested that level once again. We can say that the stock is now on a road of recovery, but as I will mention in a minute, the market may be on the skeptical side of things for the next couple of months, or maybe from here onwards. Sundao has a fairly large speculative portion in its stock value, and there is no way of telling whether investors are right to bet on it. In the long term, however, things are a bit clearer. 
The current situation of Sundown is that it has lost a lot of its value compared to when it first went public. That is one of the selling point of the stock, in my opinion. In other words, it's worth considering buying because it is at a very, very low price level compared to where it was. And this means that statistically speaking, the stock has a higher likelihood of going higher than the other way around. I would suggest to have a small position of Sundao in your portfolio to ride the current trend. The profit levels should be between 30 to 50% from where the shares were bought. The last element to consider would be the overall market sentiment in a financial market. The current reality is that investors and money managers are no longer willing to blindly follow companies and throw their capital in them, like much of 2020. There are many reasons why investors are now shying away from innovative and disruptive stocks. Some will say that they were overpriced, that they were overbought, or that they were relying on selling dreams instead of having good financials. But the real answer is probably a simpler one. At one point, some people began to lock in their profits. That created a significant crash in a company prices, not really because they're all bad, but they were having more sellers than buyers. This triggered a torrent of sell-offs from February of this year to nowadays. The overall tendency at the moment is that those stocks are now bottoming out, much like what's happening with Sundao, but investors are generally speaking more skeptical and only companies with good ideas or financials, or both, may survive the long term. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.